Hey guys, it's your girl Miss Annie J and today I wanted to talk about customer service and the lack thereof sometimes. So if you want to know more, stay tuned and I'm gonna be right back. See the new girl vibe, she in her stride, she goes side to side, she goes tap 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 tap. See the new girl vibe, she in her stride. Go side to side. The thing that I don't like about bad customer service is that you guys are creating a lot of work for me. If I have to trace back and follow up and write emails and things like that, I just don't have the time for it. But trust and believe, if the service that you have given me has been diddle squat nonsense, I'm coming for you. I don't care how busy I am, how much work that I have to do, how many videos that I need to be filming, it all takes time. I will make time to make sure that you you know how I feel about your terrible customer service. Now granted, it's not everyone. Some people provide some excellent customer service. A1. Those are the ones that I love. Other people, mm -mm, they just come and create unnecessary admin for you. I have to sit down. I have to write emails. I have to remember all the conversations, the details, the things that you guys promised me that you did not follow through on. Oh it gets my soul. I don't want hassle. But if you come and bring nonsense, I will make time because I'm not going to let it slide. I work with people, myself. I know what it's like. Some people can be a bit difficult and what have you. At the end of the day, if you're doing your job and you're doing good service, you're not going to get any backlash. But if you are not giving the service that you're meant to be given, you will be getting backlash. People like myself, I would not let it go. Nope you're going to hear about it. When I finish work, I just want to sign off. You guys have come and created even more personal admin for me, but I will do it out of obligation to myself because I respect my life. I'm not going to let you take the mick out of me. It's not going to happen. Now, I thank God for Trustpilot. Before I joined any company, I was doing my car insurance quotes and I was like, I could actually save myself about £20 a month, which adds up. The prices were really looking very attractive and I thought, I think I'm going to sign up. With but before I do that, let me see what other people are saying about these people. People tend to remember bad service more than good service. But that said, there are companies on Trustpilot who have got four plus star reviews. I'm sorry, people do remember good service. If I experience good service, if I've purchased from them many times, I will definitely leave at least one excellent review. So before I signed up with any new car insurer, I went to research these companies on Trustpilot and see what other people had said about them first. The results were actually quite surprising. There were two big names in there, UK wise. And I thought these lot, their reviews have got to be banging, surely. They have got to be 10 out of 10. And I went on there and I saw 2.3 stars. I said, whoa, the devil is a liar. Okay, I'll end up paying less money. However, when my car breaks down, you people are going to leave me stranded in the wilderness with the foxes and the deers, mosquitoes, the flies and the moths. No, no, I need a company that's going to be reliable. If I have to pay 20 pounds more a month for, I know we are in cost of living, but my life is valuable. If my car breaks down, I need to know that you're going to come and collect me within good time. Especially if I am on a motorway that is blackout. And me, as a single female, I'm just there like that. I need a company that will save my Ross, okay? I don't think companies realise if your ratings are not good, people are going and doing their research. Nobody wants to walk into that. Thank God for the internet. It is probably one of the best inventions of all time. Before the internet, companies were getting away with so much crap. There was no way to monitor them. Now, everything is there, clear, transparent, black and white. I can see whether you are good. I can see whether you are a joke. I will make my decision Accordingly, when you go through bad customer service, ha, I can name so many where I have spent time trying to rectify issues. If I just decided I'm too tired to follow up with these people, that would have been it. They would have just got away with everything. No, they need to be held accountable. Similarly, if the service is good, I will sing, dance and shout about it also. If things go right, people know that, do you know what? This company are doing the thing. If they are not, I'm just going to express myself and leave it there. When it's time for me to just ba 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 ba, I am a keyboard warrior. So if you're not bringing the goods, when I'm ready, I will just expose, expose, expose. It's your girl, Miss Annie J. So much to say. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, guys. And until next time, I'll see you guys soon. Bye. Sun is shining down on me, making juice so readily. Like tap, 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 tap. 
I'm a big bad D, shaking down the house on a rhythmic street. I'ma bring it to the ball every day of the week. I'ma have them wanting more from this melanin.